If you want to save money on your Lord's Mobile pack purchases, then check out Huawei App Gallery's Winter Deals, available up until the 24th of November. You'll get 10 euros worth of coupons every single day, 20% points back on your first purchase every day, and then 10% on all your other purchases. It's a great way to save some money, don't pay full price guys, plus at the end of the month you'll get an extra 15% cash back if you spend over a thousand euros. Check it out, links in the description below. Right now though, let's get into the action. What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lords mobile video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button guys, join the fam. And if you're one of the regulars, don't forget to smash that like button guys, it really helps get the videos out there. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Um, now today, guys, we're going to dive into some news. A little bit of a news video uh, from IGG coming out with a statement today uh, saying that they have made or they've, they've taken action. And then he said made action. They've taken action against players using the bots. Now, I don't know exactly who they've done it to, but I do have some info here for you. Now, oh, my treasure trove is, uh, is ready. <laughs> Hello. Okay, and uh, you know, I always put it straight back in as well once it's done. There we go. Boom. Nice. Now, if we take a look in here in the news. Now, you can see that basically this is your normal stuff you have in here. New purchase restrictions for Steam version, logging into Lord's Mobile and Steam. The new uh, scam event. Sorry, I mean uh, pay event. Sorry. <clears throat> Don't know what, what's coming over me. It's got a case of Tourette's. Uh, a feudal battle event notice. And, you know, the usual stuff that's in here which most of you, you know, are going to have exactly the same as me. Now, someone in TWK, I think it was J Judith in TWK, uh, posted something in the line chat today because Judith also speaks Spanish. And sometimes she has her Lord's Mobile uh, uh, game on Spanish language. But when you, it's really weird how some notifications are going out to like people on Spanish versions, but then the English version, we didn't get nothing this morning. I don't know whether it's still to come or not. I don't know. But check this out. So if we go to the settings down here and go to language and then just change it to Espanol, right? Gracias. Literally the only word I know in, in Spanish is gracias. And well, maybe senor, senorita. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> check it out. We go into um, the Spanish version of Lords here. And let's just go back into the news and click on Noticias and click on Arena del Dragon. Now that sounds so much more better than just Dragon Arena. <laughs> anyway, sorry, back on topic. So let's get back into it. So check this out. We're going to the Spanish version, but check out what the second thing is down on the list. Uso illegal de bots de rastrio. Now, don't worry, I am gonna translate it for you, okay? <laughs> uh, but no, the thing I'm saying here is, I looked at this and I was like, hang on a minute. So there's a bunch of text I can't read, and then it looks like a bunch of IGG IDs that they've they've kind of like hidden some of the numbers because you know security reasons, right? Um, but I was like, wow, have they actually done something with this? So I took a picture of this and went to one of those photo translator apps um, and translated it so I could try and at least understand what it says. And I did that, and this is basically what it says. There you go. So it says, illegal use of tracking bots. Dear players, we have discovered some that some players have been illegally using tracking bots. Well, it's, it says TTS, which is some of the words aren't quite translated properly. It's not 100%, but it's about 98%. Uh, tracking bots, that's supposed to be. Which has seriously affected, again, it says two game of murhus of players. That's basically gonna be saying affected the game for many players. I would imagine something along those lines. And then it says, we have identified the accounts that have used these tracking bots to, with the help of, <clears throat> I don't know what that says, al -Gai? I don't know. It's not translated properly, that last bit there. Um, but basically it says they've, they've identified accounts that have used tracking bots, um, something to do with reports and their corresponding investigations. Um, I think maybe player reports or something, I don't know. There are some, oh, these are some of the blocked accounts. So just moving this back down again, you can see, like I said, there's a whole bunch of IGG IDs that have been listed there. Well, not a bunch, I mean like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 
29. So there's 29 IGG IDs that have been listed there as of as so, so far. Be interesting to see if any of the big players that I know, and again, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I'm not, I'm not here to do that, all right? But I know there's some big, big players in the game that use these bots. Uh, so it'll be interesting to know if they get any kind of punishment or any kind of like temporary ban or anything on their account. Um, my opinion, I, I reckon the big players I'll still see porting around doing their usual thing. They'll, they'll get no, they'll get no consequences at all. That's my honest opinion. I just don't think they will because they spend too much in the game for IGG to annoy, you know. But who knows who these players are? If you are one of these players, if one if one of you out there is this IGG I date, I'm just IGG. I'm just laughing at you, like <laughs> they're literally laughing at you. Or this could just be a publicity thing for IGG to make it look like they're doing something. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. You be the judge, okay? Not me. I'm not here to get sued or anything like that. I'm just saying, you, you be the judge. I'll give you the facts and the information. You guys could be the judge as to whether or not this is uh, is this is this is legit and if they're actually doing something. But at the end of the day, it looks like they have. I mean, the rest of it says we will continue to take action against those who sell or use bots in the game. If you know of someone who is making these types of illegal legal agreements, get in touch with us and help us make laws mobile a fair game. And we will also improve game mechanics to keep the game environment safe. Thank you all for your, uh, yeah, your support, I guess, or something that says it's not translated properly. The Lords Mobile team. So there you have it. Officially, IGG have put a statement out in Spanish, only on the Spanish version from what I can see. Nothing on the English version yet. But they have put out a notice to say that they have identified 29 accounts and taken whatever measures they need to take against those accounts. Which I guess is good. Look, if this is legit, then maybe this is the first step forward to actually making Lords Mobile fair, you know? I mean, I'm all for it if it's, if it's, if it's legit and they are seriously cr cracking down on it. Um, but as far as that Weebot goes, as far as I'm aware, it's still in operation. It still works. People are still using it as far as I know. Um, I don't know how they're going to go about fixing that. But hey, look, at least this is a good first step to uh, making some changes in the game, which I guess we can only but applaud. Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, that's going to basically be it from me for today. I just wanted to just give you that update on uh, on that. I'm, I possibly might be streaming later on for Dragon Arena. I know you guys want me to live stream. I've had a lot of messages a lot of messages <laughs> saying please where's resident evil where's the live streams i'm i know i know i've been really busy actually doing some editing behind the scenes um but i will definitely be coming back at you with resident evil and some more lords and other stuff live streams as well so don't worry guys we are going to get back on track uh seven hours away from recording this video for da so i possibly might do that a little bit later on tonight with you guys if you want to come and chill and hang out with me for dragon arena but I mean, other than that, that's going to be it from me. So there's the update on the bot situation from IGG. We'll see you where we go from there. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. Let's take it easy, guys. Stay safe. And of course, peace out.